Welcome back, ghouls and goblins. I hope you're having a magical day, and thank you for taking the time to support the channel. My name is Hello Good Game, and I'm pleased to be your host within today's video, in which we will be breaking down our new standard best of one Grixis Leyline Dragons build. Um, now, this will revolve around the Leyline of Transformation, Sarkon, and the Rivaz, alongside our new Avatar friends. We'll be breaking down the deck list. More in depth, of course, uh, discussing all of the strategies and synergies held within, providing you a deeper understanding of how to pilot this deck effectively. Of course, we will then demonstrate within our mythic ranked gameplay footage against the best decks as well as players in game as I cling to the top 200 mythic rank, um, supported by a 50% win rate currently. Um, so there's a little bit of room for improvement here, but again, you know, uh, when we are fighting the best decks and best players, yeah, that's almost as good as you should expect to get. Um, so with that being said, uh, we'll conclude with our deck review and channel news. If you want to help out, leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe to the channel. Kick back, relax, and let's take a look at the deck. Uh, Leyline of Transformation for 4 mana as an enchantment uh, will enter the battlefield if it's in your opening hand, which is quite nice. And as it does, you're going to choose a creature type. We will be choosing dragons, of course. And uh, creatures you control uh, will be that type in addition to their other types. And the same is true for creature spells uh, that you control and uh, creature cards that you own that aren't on the battlefield, right? So uh, spells on the stack, which is really nice for us. And we're going to take advantage, uh, first and foremost, Cavern of Souls, right? We're going to name Dragon here. And then, you know, all of our spells are uncounterable, which is really good. So uh, the ley line with Cavern of Souls, whatever you name, you can also name with the souls, not just in this dragon deck, but, in, you know, in your future deck building as well. Um, and then, you know, we have Sarkon Soul of Flame for three mana, a 2-4 that will reduce our dragon spells by one. And then whenever a dragon enters the battlefield, Sarkon become, can become a copy of it um, until the end of turn, which is really quite nice. Uh, and then again, when all of our spells are dragon spells, we're reducing everything. And then we have Rivaz of the Claw for three as a 3-3 three, three with Menace. It can tap to add two mana of any combination of colors, spending to cast on dragon spells, right? That's no problem for us. And uh, once during each of your turns, you may cast a dragon spell um, from your graveyard, which is, again, quite good for us here. And uh, whenever you cast a dragon spell, it will have a finality counter on it. Um, so it's going to exile itself. When it dies the second go around and um you know some of our new dragon friends within the avatar horrors from duskmorn blood pits for five as a five three with flying when it enters or attacks draw two cards and discard a card the bail mark for five as well as a five five and whenever it enters or attacks mill four then return a non-avatar or planeswalker from your graveyard to your hand this will be looking for Sarkon. This will be looking for the Claw. And then finally, the Boilinger builds for 6, 5-5 uh, five, five as well. And uh, when it enters or attacks, 4 damage to any target, which is quite substantial. And of course, each of these will have their own impending cost, which is uh, having it enter as a non-creature, just to the enchantment. And you'll remove at the end of your turn one of the counters until there are none at which point it will become a creature the impending is still reduced via sarkon which is really good um so impending for three again or two with sarkon in play uh we can get that in uh four is you know one lol uh the bail mark which is great uh, otherwise just two and then for four if we reduce it three the overlord of the boilinger bulls which is quite nice the sarkon the ley line with the overlords working really nice and then the claw within that same fashion just generating mana for us and then we can play stuff from the grave right um so this is the core of the deck literally all we're up to uh we have an additional dragon here um because whenever a dragon you control attacks deal two damage to any target and now you know everything's a dragon so this is quite good for us again uh you know within this dragon pile here um and then whenever the invasion enters uh reveal any number of dragons from your hand and deal two damage plus x where x was the number of dragons uh to any target which is great again because every creature in our hand will now be a dragon and uh you know as we flip it it's a four four with flying and trample and again whenever you attack 
with a dragon deal two damage to any target. So, you know, it's just kind of silly. Uh, it works really good with the uh, red overlord. And then, you know, we've got some removal, some interaction in deck, right? Uh, torch tower, one mana, instant speed, two damage to any target, uh, creature or planeswalker. Uh, and if you bargain it, you'll actually deal three damage and scry one. The bargain is the sacrifice of an enchantment or artifact or just token. Um, that's fine. We can sacrifice after we play if we need nowhere to run for two. Uh, it's an enchantment with flash, and when it enters, target creature and opponent controls gets minus three, minus three until the end of turn. And creatures your opponent's control can be the target of spells and abilities as though they did not have hexproof. Be aware, ward abilities uh, of those creatures also will not trigger, which is quite nice. And then, you know, some things we can't get, right? Sometimes it's an enchantment, planeswalker, um, that's, you know, we don't have the tower. Maybe just like an artifact or something, or just a creature that we don't care for. Uh, it gets anything into the Flood Maw for one, and I like this quite a bit. Instant speed, return creature and opponent controls to their hand. If you gift them a tapped fish, non-land permanent, which is B-E-A, beautiful. And then two copies of the Edict for two instant speed, choosing one of the three. Sacrificing non-token, sacrificing creature token, sacrificing planeswalker, uh, our opponent will be forced to do. All right, Passage. And, uh, you know, make sure that our land base is consistent within the three colors pulling our basic lands. And then we have these new lands, which are so beautiful uh, for consistency. And it is a solid deck, I find. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Become a YouTube member. Join the community Discord. But most importantly, kick back, relax, and enjoy today's gameplay. On the draw, ley line in hand. I got to keep it. It's what it's all about. <laughs> Who doesn't? Dragon. And then, um, you know, that black source is nice. This can be the removal. These two caverns are a little weird, but it's okay. You know, this could be... Could be worse. Oh, uh, it, it, you mean by playing against a top 30 player? Playing the best deck in game? Yeah, kind of like that. So this is going to be a mountain. Nice. Okay. No problems. No problems. Hit for tap. It's actually a little bit better for us. It's kind of a two for one. But, again, you know, that best deck keeps on keeping on. We might get away with murder here on the 13, but look at this. Why another souls? Just so they can't target it, clean it. They have one in hand, plus they draw. We're in good shape. Cliff Spear. Hero! Will we take the hero? We have to take the hero. Down to 11. Okay, wish these weren't lands. And another creature off the top. Good for you. Nine. Good for me. Either would work. This comes in as a creature to block for us. Can we grab a Sarkon. No, nothing. Hmm. Sarkon or the Rivaz. Both good options. Oof.
I kind of want to attack. Better off to wait for the Overlord, though. The, um, Oil and Gerbs. Boiler Belges? I don't even know, bro. Play to land, no attack. Let's just hold tower for now. Oof. That'll do. Nine life. Can we continue to navigate? I'm going to say yes. We can attack because we flip the other overlord. There's my Sarkon. There he is. Hello. Sorry, we're still in combat. Here's our boy. Okay, we flip. Well, not flip, but um, become a creature, I guess. I'll remind you, this is a top 31 player with the best deck in game. They have another? I sacrificed it so it was three damage. Good for them. Okay. I'm gonna race. Maybe we get a river as we do. I am a legend. Do we take him to London? Are you going to London? Are you going to London? Nice. Okay. We have land that will work if we get a swamp. Don't like not having the third land. One land. With no ley line, this hand's not going to go anywhere either, though. Should be better. This. Use avatar. And pivot. Because we don't have dragons. Or not dragons, but the transformation or the, uh, the ley line, right? I don't know how I feel about this. That's something you know you're, you don't want to be aware of as you're playing these matches. They may not all play out the same. Now here we get the Sarkon that we threw away. Oh, but we milled our lane line. Uh... Maybe we need a way just to grab that lane line path. No land. Ouch. Ouch. No land.ca. That's not good. Okay, okay. And it's the right land.
dodging any counter spell here through the cavern, which is quite nice actually. Ooh. Gotta keep the. Ignore to run. We can salvage this match. I'm speechless. We, I think we're in trouble though. That's a lot of land. Flush mana. Still two available mana, and they should have spent that first. No? Beautiful. Can't counter it. Not that they could with a mountain, but... Look at these. Little time bombs, baby. They have a lot of available mana, though. What the hell? No maximum hand size? This is the win the game thing? Oh, that's the red one lock. Unlocks our two lands. One, two. I think still just hard cast it. Maybe we should have actually put it in queue. That's a hard one. Because at the end of turn, we'll have two in play, and that's going to set them up for another ill-timed. All things considered. Putting it in queue may have been better, but then they have the single target removal. Right, so I guess there's two sides to that argument for sure. Well, Exile sucks. And here's the removal. Okay, just two single target. That's an option I did not consider. Very good, though. Thing to draw. That's not bad. Invasion on their person. Removal up. Blood pits in play. I can't believe they had double single target. I think they're gonna win. They're really accumulating these. Uh... Yeah. More removal. Impressive. Our removal's dead. They don't have any creatures. And the draws here are kind of good. Ah, land. Perfect. <laughs> Ouch. It looked like we were coming back for a little bit, but I think that draws is definitely outpacing us value-wise into the mid-game here. How many doors do they need? Eight or six? Nice. Draw three cards as well. Not looking good. We're tapped out for some time as well. Draw another chunk of cards. That will be great. Ah, uh, that's not good. 
think they just went. Can they not? Outrageous. I must just be looking for it still. How many copies of this do they have? Because that was a different still. I didn't realize there were so many rooms in game. Ah, yes, another land. That's perfect. Just what I was looking for. <laughs> yeah. Isn't this the one that makes them win? Not killing that one, though. Maybe they don't even use that room. I don't know. I'm kind of just trying to prolong the match so we can see their deck list, you know? Plenty of gun over there. Ah, not removal. Well, I mean, it is just not the right removal. Most people don't go this big. Good game, homie. We'll give them a chance to do the when they, they can get it out. Or just hit for lethal, that works as well. I like that quite a bit. Very good. Going first, ley line in hand. I guess that's enough, right? Dragon. Need this to be a red source. One mountain. Keep it for removal. Yeah, I don't know what they're playing and I don't want to rely on one removal spell. Up to in your deck with a rooter. Oh. Let's try. I'm glad we waited. Um, if they do have some form of protection, we can grab it with invasion the next turn. My poison counter. <laughs> Still get it. Haha. -ha. <laughs> um, we get through the hexproof, of course, there, right? All of our lands are up. We know what they're up to, so I'm going to chill out with this. Right, it's a poison deck. I think we'll take as well. More protection, do you think? Want with the big boy instead, then, and then it's like a greater chance to double cast next turn with invasion. Ah, oh, no, we just get it. Cool. No play, good game. They already see what's coming. It doesn't get better. Well, can't keep it even though we want to. Land just doesn't support. Nor does this. 
keeping five crossing a mountain. Edict. Both cards in hand are playable. You know. Try to do our best. That is actually helpful. Looking for a swamp, but you know, I guess the fifth land is nice. Or fourth, sorry. Soon to be fifth after we draw a swamp. Oh no, it's ninjutsu. Ay, ay, ay. I might be in trouble. I'm in danger. Whoops. That was not I wasn't meaning to emote. Uh, I'm not actually there's not a single thought in my head. It's vacant, I assure you. <laughs> most days, most times. LOL. Nobody knows shadows. I've always hated crows. Very good. Let's find our fifth land and a swamp. Giving up on this and just going straight to overlords. Oh, man. We need double swamp here. We can single them in. I think they have too much removal for us to do a Sarkon in. You won't be outsmarting me. I guess I don't have a second red source, so it goes. Man. You're really doing it, huh? Surveil and draw. The rest into my hand. Nothing there. We can hard cast. Well, no, we won't. We'll have to discard with Lily still. Unless she minuses on. Yeah, she does. Oof, wow. They probably have a backup. I'm probably just dead. Oh well. Good game, homie. I like Kaido. I think it's really good. Lily, Gix, you know, they're great additions. Alright, let's go first about it. Kind of like a bad hand, but Leyline's here, so that's my prerequisite. Durgans, please. This is going to be a red source for us. On three, though, which sucks. Because this is only black if we have... Yeah. And I want to do this on two. Um, this won't be on three. Yes. But this can grab a Sarkon. Right? Can grab a Rivaz. Mm, or nothing. LOL. We red source for us. We have removal up as well. Let's pass over. Let's 
Another land. Beanstalk. That's a good card. Good card. They're going to draw. Just grab our mountain. And not too much of hidden information because they can already see that we have one in the graveyard, right? Let's just stop holding up the game. Of course, typically, you know, you wait until, you know, this instance to do that, but. Be another red source for us. Both are pretty decent. I don't really have anything to get rid of, though. But we should be drawing for Sarkon first. It's true. It's true. We do need maybe a second black source as well at some point. I think this can... I don't think they play with greed. I mean, come on, say it. I don't think they're using creatures. I'm not entirely certain that the removal is relevant. What they immediately just slapped down a creature we could have removed. Oh, another beaner. Some bean soup. Did they get a fourth land? Yes. A third. Bro, that's going to be way too strong. No one's going to want any. We get our second black source. No dragons in grave. I'm going to hard cast. Toss the torch. No, toss the extra ley line. Double torch? That's weird. We could have tossed a... Well, no, I would. I don't really want that ley line. Four mana up. Like just impending to. Oh. Oh. This is, I'm going to overextend here a bunch, but you can't tell me what to do. Removal. Ah. Uh, an additional dragon though. Five damage. We were supposed to immediately flip that, but that's okay. Try next turn, but again. <sighs> One card a turn. They've got to remove every turn. Ooh. Gross. I think it's actually really good because I can't really double down. No Sarkon. Where is he? What the hell? They let me take it. This has to be a field wipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Funny. I knew I overcommitted. Oh, Sunfall. Beanstalk, you're hilarious. The tr this game's over. Triple bean stocks is too much. Everything they do draws three cards. That's absurd. Triple bean stock to start the game. I mean, it's really good. It's really good, and I'm I'm grateful that they exiled all that, so I can't recast it from the grave. That's really cool too. Just great stuff here for us here today. 39, I'm at 32. I mill, though, so fast. I don't really draw as much. Yeah, we're just going to impend our face off. Oh, they can try to hide Nunas out. 
Oh, that's really good for that token. You have no idea. Could just minus three at two. That'll allow us to play here. It's tricky because it's a really good control deck that did all of the right things. It doesn't take it, but it definitely stops it in its tracks. Right? It's a good return. I guess we should do that on their turn, maybe, in fact. Ripple draw, wow. Not even attacking the ley line. That's interesting. I don't have life gain. That's their third high noon too? Dude, well, I guess when you draw every card in your deck. Impressive. Yeah, where is their red mana? That's probably all they're really waiting for, right? And then they can activate their high noons. That's 15 damage on board. Which is why it's so important to deal with these sunfall tokens, because we can't let them have any extra. You're going into your sideboard, are you? Wow. I'm getting clowned on. It's just the draw. Everything they play draws three. And each one of those already... It's not like they pay two to draw later. It's like it draws one itself or two, which is already just base value. Mountain out of the sideboard. Negate. What are you worried about? I'll never know, man. I have no dragons in the graveyard. Nothing in the graveyard. All of what exiled. Every single thing of mine. Who's getting after that? They're 29 at 26. Hmm, yeah, I'll draw another three cards. I can't kill this, though. Not with High Noon in play. Well, no, I can. I have uh, Shoulders Edict. we race them? No, because they could just... Well, if we do force that... And then they high noon a Overlord, that would be better for us. Never mind! This is any color. There's their red mana. That's game. Four. 
force that negate. They don't, they're just like, no, it's fine. Well, they need their fourth high noon to win. Or some form of attack. I'm sure they have more Bezas. I'm sure they have more um, Overlords. So it's not going to be super straightforward. Oh, and they have the Creature Land I'm seeing now. Ah! Well, have their fourth high noon now. <laughs> Settle down, homie. I'm just going to pass over. Good game. I've never seen high noon get doppelganged before. That's fantastic. Let's let him run it out. For entertainment's sake. Play a tap land because that matters. You just kill me. I'm trying to let you showcase your cool stuff. You're not going to do it? Wow. You're, you're really cool, bro. That's outrageous. Alrighty then. Leyline Dragons. Not bad. Not bad. I think of all the ley lines, the ley line of transformation has um, surprised me the most. Yeah, we all knew about the red ley line, right? It was going to be crazy. Um, but I've now found two original decks uh, focused around the ley line. We did the ninja deck, and now we have the dragon deck. Um, and it is, it's just such a beautiful thing. And I think that Really, we could consider putting this in more uh, tribal-based builds because now you can just focus on crazy good cards instead of mediocre tribal cards, if that makes much sense. So uh, I don't think Leyline of Transformation is going to go anywhere. A uh, fantastic card that I'm happy to see. And, um, you know, it's cool to be able to compete uh, against some of the best decks and players with something uh, this original, right? So... Uh, thank you all so much for your support, uh, allowing me to facilitate this for you. And, uh, of course, I'll be back next time with another new deck, which is cool. Some cards that I was considering during the build, the Hall Creeper, right? Can't be blocked, and that's pretty cool. Um, and then it could become a copy of the Overlord later, right? Play this early with an Overlord. It does its thing, and then the last time it uh, becomes a copy of the Overlord, maybe? I don't know. It's uh, It could be cool. Fear of missing out. You know, this is nice and cheap. Good value uh, as well for two. Draw discards. Nice. Devil attacks. Pretty broken. Um, specifically with the Overlords and the Dragon Triggers. Um, so, you know, it could be cool. And then instant flipping of Invasion with Warcrafting. You know, more removal. Additional card advantage. Squeak. Uh, just the attack trigger I was thinking could be kind of cool. Because it would be a dragon, keep in mind. Uh, Roaming Throne, I really like. Um, probably quite a bit more than Squee. Um, you know, it's a dragon. It names dragons. And now everything doubles. Which is pretty cool, right? So that could be ultra busted. Um, maybe just a dragon. Terror of the Peaks is, you know, always good. And then Calamity. Would Calamity be absolutely busted with fear of missing out? Hmm. Well, that's my next build. I was going to put it in this deck, but then it was kind of becoming a little convoluted. Uh, so we dialed it in, and I think that's going to be a different build. As uh, you know, we haven't started on it yet, but uh, I can give you a little bit of a sneak preview, right? So, Leyline Dragons, having a lot of fun with it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Cheers. Thank you all so much. Have an absolute magical day, and I'll see you soon in the next.